Alright, here's a quick tutorial on Create Big Cannon's quick fire mechanism and the big cartridge. So what's the big cartridge? Well, the big cartridge is basically a way to save room in your cannons. So what do I mean by this? Well, here we have four powder charges and here we have one big cartridge. That is equivalent in power. So if you just have one cartridge that's fully powered, that's equivalent to four uh, powder charges. So basically you can have shorter cannons now with the same amount of power and they're also quicker to load. So if I hold shift on a cartridge, I can see this one's empty. So the power is zero on four. If I do this with the filled one, it's four on four. So that means it has the equivalent power of four powder charges. So the crafting recipe is simple. You simply take an empty cartridge and you add up to four nitro powders to it. And there I have a cartridge with four out of four power. All right, so how do we use the cartridges in our cannons? Well, the answer is the same way as with powder charges. So they have a direction, so you've got to respect that. And you just ram them in there, just like you would with anything else. All right, so I'm going to close this now. And we're going to assemble the cannon. And let's raise it up a little bit. And let's flick this lever to fire the cannon. All right, so that shot with obviously the force of four powder charges. If there was only the force of one powder charge, that would not have gone very far. So there is something we have to do though, because this is a brass casing, we have to remove it from the cannon. So how do we do that? Well, for this one, we're gonna disassemble it and we're gonna open the breech. I'm gonna use the worm and I'm gonna pull it out. And then I can simply break it. And there's nothing else in there because that was our ammunition that we fired. All right, so that is with a regular sliding breech. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how a quick firing breech works and it's a lot better. So here we have our cannon. There is this lever right here that represents the quick fire breech. To activate the quick fire breech, you have to have an assembled cannon, not a disassembled cannon like you would with the regular breach, but an assembled one. So I simply right click here in the back. So it's in the back, it's not on the side, right? You'd think it'd be on the side, but it's on the back. So you just go there and that opens and closes it. And now to load it, all you have to do is in the same order you would enter the ammo. So with your high explosive shell and then with the big cartridge, those are now loaded in the cannon. So I simply right click to close it and I can fire right away. So you'll notice this is really fast because I don't even have to disassemble the cannon. The cannon stays assembled. It stays aiming at the same place. So it's useful if you're trying to figure out where your target is and you don't want to disassemble, reassemble all the time and lose where exactly you're aiming. So that's pretty cool. So now all I have to do is open the breach and I'll automatically get the empty cartridge. So I don't need to use the worm, I just get it automatically. So I'll do that again, so quick, and then I'll close it. You have to have an empty hand to close it, that's fine. So now it's closed and I can fire again. Wow, that is so cool. The quick firing mechanism is great for just, I mean, firing fast, obviously. So if you have a pirate ship, if you have, if you're like a tank crew and you want to have like a manual tank, you can do this pretty easily a lot better than before. So this is a really cool addition. And in case you're wondering how to put a fuse on the high explosive shell in order to put it into the quick fire breach, all you have to do is put down your high explosive shell, put the fuse on it and then break it. And then that shell that you received will have the fuse on it. Compare that to a shell without the fuse. If I break that, it's going to go in a different stack. And it will not be able to stack with the fused ones. It doesn't say on the item itself if it's fused or not, but you can tell by trying to stack them together. And if they're two different high explosive shells, one with one kind of fuse or one with no fuse versus one with the um, impact fuse, for example, they will not be able to stack. So that's how you know. So high explosive shells need fuses to explode. Otherwise, they just hit and they act like a dud. They act pretty much like a um, piece of shot or whatever it's called. The solid shot. They basically act like solid shot if they don't have a fuse. All right, so let's move on to the cannon carriages. So it's the same thing with the cannon carriages. You can open, close, 
all right if it's disassembled you can't open or close it well you'd have to use a crank um, but yeah so you just assemble it and right click by the way using a crank on a cannon carriage is not really something you want to do because it doesn't stay with the cannon so you would constantly have to rebuild it if you were to move the cannon around so just use the quick fire mechanism on the cannon there's really not much reason or any reason not to I don't think so anyways the quick fire mechanism makes everything easier so let's go ahead and do it let's put in our high explosive shell our big cartridge we close it by the way use WASD to move around and you hold C and press W and S to aim and you right click to fire there we go and again you right click to open it did I get the empty casing I did I did get the empty cartridge it was in my inventory this time there you go and now just to compare this to the regular cannon I mean the regular cannon is just gonna be slow but just for demonstration and you see yeah, this one comes in backwards then I have to use the ramrod Oh, probably there's a cartridge in there that I didn't take out. Right, let's yeah, there's a cartridge in there that I forgot to take out. So that's another reason to use the quick fire mechanism. Oh yeah, then you have to reassemble it. Man, the quick fire mechanism. How did we live without the quick fire mechanism? Yeah, let's see if we can get that temple. Oh, a little far, but you get the idea. So really the quick fire mechanism and the cartridge, they kind of, I don't know if they were made to go together, but I find they work great together. All right, so one thing to remember is the quick fire mechanism only works with the sliding breech. It does not work for the screw breech that's on the higher tier cannon. So you can only do this with the, I guess, lower to mid tier cannons, which is fine. Like four powder charges is pretty decent, right? you can shoot pretty far with it um, and it's a lot of fun so um, I guess you can say it's balanced right because I'm I mean it might be a little bit OP if you could just use a screw breach and oh, I don't wanna, like just use one cartridge you know there's gotta be a trade-off it's good all right so there you have it that was create big cannons quick fire mechanism and the big cartridge if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more then please consider subscribing and activating notifications thank you for watching